Okay, so this is the System.io countdown timer tutorial to show you how to use the countdown timer to add urgency and scarcity to your offers. Now, if you need to get a free System.io account, then I've left the link in the description below this video, or you can also just use that link for easy access, log into your System.io account so you can follow along with me. And then once you're logged into your account, head over to the sales funnel you want to work on. And then once you're in the funnel, select the page that you want to add the countdown timer to. So I'm going to add it to this order form. So if I go to edit page, open up this page, and now, first of all, to add the countdown timer, we need to head over to the left sidebar here and scroll down and look for the element right at the bottom underneath other, which is the countdown timer. Click and drag this to where you want it to go. So I'm just going to place it at the top here. Now, first of all, if I click on the element, you'll see the sidebar menu changes. Now I have all the configuration options for this countdown timer. So here I can adjust the size, make that a bit bigger, as well as the text font size as well. And of course, I can change the colors. If you look, it looks a bit close to me. The bottom of the countdown timer looks a bit close to this order form. So if I select the margin, I can just come down to the bottom and drop this down a bit just to create a bit more space. Just looks a little bit neater. Now, it's always a good idea to put it near the top of the page, especially if you've got a long sales page. Not everyone is going to make it all down to the bottom of your sales page. That said, personally, I like to put them at the top and at the bottom when I use them. So I'd personally put them at the top and also after the buy now button as a little reminder. But if it's on a short page like this, I would just keep one countdown timer. Anyway, to get the countdown timer to expire when you want it to, if you click on this countdown element again and then come over to the sidebar, now you see at the top here, we've got an option to select the countdown type. And from the drop down, we've got four options here. So the first is a fixed time and date. So that's self-explanatory if you wanted it to expire on a particular date at a particular time, that's what you'd select. And then here you need to select the action that will occur once the countdown timer expires. And the options you have are do nothing or redirect to another URL. In most cases, you're probably going to want to select to redirect them to a different URL because once this offer is over, you want to either divert them to a page that's to say the story this offer has expired or send them to a different offer and you can put that URL in here. If you left it to do nothing, this page would just stay as is and the countdown timer would just say zero. So that's why I think in most cases, most people are going to probably want to choose to redirect to a different URL. And then for the other options, we have a delay, which means we can set the countdown to expire after a certain amount of days, hours and minutes. In this case, with this delay option, once a person lands on your page, this countdown tire will begin. But it'll only begin for that person that's just landed on your page. So if someone else lands on your page the next day or even a week later, then the countdown timer begins for that person once they've landed on that page, if that makes sense. And you have the same options here to afterwards do nothing or redirect to another URL. And the third option is daily, which means, so this is like full scarcity, I guess. Personally, I'm not much of a fan of full scarcity, but it's pretty popular. A lot of people do use it. So for example, if you just wanted this to reset daily at midnight, for example, each day a person lands on this page at whatever time of the day they land on that page, this countdown time will expire on midnight on that day. But the thing is, if the person came back to this page the next day, they would see the, ta they would see the countdown time was started again. So then they would realize, ah, oh, this is just full scarcity. And then you also have, again have the same options to redirect to another URL or do nothing. And the last option is to set the same as deadline funnels. So what this is, if I were to choose that option, click Save Changes, once you've selected this, this option is configurable outside of this page. If I go back to the Funnel Steps menu, so we've still got the order form selected, and now here under Deadline Funnels, this is where I can configure the settings to the Deadline Funnel. So first of all, we need to enable the feature, and here is some information about exactly what this Deadline Funnel is. So if I read this out to you, Deadline Page feature is used to push prospects to take advantage of an offer. You'll have the option to define a time frame after your contact has opted into a funnel. And at the end of this period, all the pages of the funnel will redirect to the page of your choice. You're only able to use the deadline feature on order form or sales page funnel steps. All other steps are available as the funnel step to redirect to after the deadline has expired. OK, so if you wanted to choose this option, you need to, need, need to enable it here. Select how many days you want the funnel to expire. So if I just selected two days, for example, and then from this drop down here, you need to choose which page in your funnel, one of these pages here, visitors will be redirected to once this deadline has expired. And from the drop down, these are all the pages that are currently in this sales funnel here. So if you wanted to create a new page, you just come down here to add step. And then from the drop down here, you can choose the type of page you want. So for example, if you're going to send them to, let's say, a webinar registration page and then click save, 
now that page appears in my funnel steps. I come back to the deadline settings. First, you actually have to select your page. So just select just this one at random. Now I can continue. Enable the deadline feature. How many days you want it to expire after. Select the page from the drop down. So now you see our new page is here. And if you want the page to expire at a particular time on this date, you would toggle this on. And if you check here, it says the time is set in your time zone. So just bear that in mind. And this last step here is which page you want to set this deadline funnel on. So if you remember here, it says that you can only use this deadline feature on sales pages or order form pages, which is why you have these two options here. And we set this timer up or this deadline feature up on the order form page. So I'll just check the order form page here, click save and you're done. Now, personally, I prefer just to use the regular countdown timer on the page I showed you at the beginning of this video rather than this deadline settings. There's not much difference between the two, really, since going back here, as I showed you, you can also still redirect people to a different page once the countdown timer has expired anyway. So, of course, it's up to you which method you choose to go with, but that's how you'll set them up. Now, if you've got value out of this video, then please do consider subscribing to the channel and perhaps giving the video a like and a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need more help with System.io, then I've got lots of System.io tutorials on my channel and you can see my System.io playlist I'm showing on the screen right now here.